Good morning. It's Monday, June 12, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, We Walk Because He Walked First, and our scriptures, 1 John chapter 4. We love each other because He loved us first. For many years in American culture, love has been portrayed as a feeling that overcomes you. It includes weak knees, unexplainable loss of appetite, head in the clouds, and that goofy look on your face. That's not really love. Rather, it's romance, a kind of lust-driven drunkenness. From the negative side, love is also not doing things for other people because you have the means and they don't. That's simply what many nice people do out of compassion, at best. A lesser motive is that we fear being like the poor folks. Our generosity is to appease whatever gods control the distribution of stuff. Christian love is doing what other people need most, simply because truth and integrity demand it. Legendary football great Bubba Smith swore off booze, not drinking it, but selling it. Bubba never did drink, but he sold tons of beer by making cute television ads. Not anymore. Bubba kicked the habit. Here's how it happened in his own words. I went back to Michigan State for the homecoming parade last year. I was the Grand Marshal and I was riding in the back seat of this car. People were yelling, but they weren't saying, Go State, go! One side of the street was yelling, Taste great! And the other side was yelling, Less filling! Everyone in the stands is drunk. It was like I was contributing to alcohol and I don't drink. It made me realize I was doing something I didn't want to do. I was with my brother, Toadie, who's my agent. I told him, Toadie, I'll never do another light beer commercial. I loved doing the commercials, but I didn't like the effect it was having on a lot of people. Little people. Everything that makes a believer act unselfishly, truthfully, and compassionately is motivated by the Master's love. We love because He first loved us. Another writer put it this way, He could hear the crowd screaming, Crucify! Crucify! He could hear the hatred in their voices. These were His chosen people. He loved them, and they were going to crucify Him. He was beaten, bleeding, and weakened. His heart was broken, but he still walked. He could see the crowd as he came from the palace. He knew each of the faces so well. He had created them. He knew every smile, laugh, and shed tear. But now they were contorted with rage and anger. His heart broke, but still he walked. Was he scared? You and I would have been, so his humanness would have mandated that he was. He felt alone. His disciples had left, denied, and even betrayed him. He searched the crowd for a loving face, and he saw very few. Then he turned his eyes to the only one that mattered, and he knew that he would never be alone. He looked back at the crowd, at the people who were spitting at him, throwing rocks at him, and mocking him, and he knew that because of him, they would never be alone. So for them, he walked. The sounds of the hammer striking the spikes echoed through the crowd. The sounds of his cries echoed even louder. The cheers of the crowd as his hands and feet were nailed to the cross intensified with each blow. Loudest of all was the still small voice inside his heart that whispered, I'm with you, my son. And God's heart broke. He had let his son walk. Jesus could have asked God to end his suffering, but instead he asked God to forgive. Not to forgive him, but to forgive the ones who were persecuting him. As he hung on that cross, dying an unimaginable death, he looked out and saw not only the faces in the crowd, but also the face of every person yet to be, and his heart filled with love. As his body was dying, His heart was alive, alive with the limitless, unconditional love He feels for each of us. For you today, when I forget how much my God loves me, I remember His walk. When I wonder if I can be forgiven, I remember His walk. When I need to be reminded of how to live like Christ, I think of His walk. 
and to show him how much I love him, I wake up each morning, turn my eyes to him, and I walk. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.